Welcome, guys. So we have a question here that we are supposed to solve. All right. So we can read the question together. The Venn diagram below shows the responses or the, yeah, the responses from learners who were asked which subjects they like. So we have got mathematics, we've got physics, we've got chemistry. Okay, so these are the responses that the learners gave. Okay, then now the first question we're being asked to find the value of y if 18 learners like mathematics and chemistry only. We have to find the value of y if 18 learners like mathematics and chemistry only. So the first thing that you are supposed to do is to identify, all right? The first thing that you're supposed to do is to identify here, all right? How many learners like mathematics and chemistry only? That is very important, okay? So you are going to discover that those learners, where are they? The learners that like mathematics and chemistry only are these ones here, okay? So the learners that like mathematics and chemistry only are 3y plus 6. But then here we are told that find the value of y if 18 learners like mathematics and chemistry only. So we are supposed to equate this one to 18 and then solve this as a linear equation. So we're going to have 3y is equals to 18, then minus six. So we have three y is equals to 12. Then y will be equals to, what will be our y? Our y will be equals to four, all right? Our y is equals to four. That is the value of why? Then the next question is, how many learners, how many learners like only one subject? How many learners like only one subject? The learners that like only one subject, the subject has not been specified. So we'll have eight that like mathematics only. We have eight that like mathematics only plus, we also have 10 that like uh, chemistry only. And then we have 12 minus y, those that like physics only. How many are they? 12 minus four, which is y, they are eight, all right? So what are we going to get? When you add these three digits or numbers, you are going to end up with 26 learners. 26 learners is the number of learners who like only one subject. 26 learners. I hope that is okay. Then we have, how many learners like mathematics or physics, but not chemistry? How many learners like physics or mathematics, but not chemistry? Okay. How many learners are those? How many learners are those? So, the learners that like, you should remember first of all that physics or mathematics is more or less like physics union, mathematics, then intersection, uh, chemistry, complement, all right? Yeah, that is that. We want those that like physics or mathematics, but not chemistry. Physics or mathematics, in the first place, it's going to be the whole of physics or mathematics. But when we remove chemistry, 
the qualified slots will be these ones, the three of them, all right? We are going to have, this is eight here. So we have eight plus five plus eight, all right? That is our answer here. We have eight plus eight plus five. This gives us 16 plus five, we're going to get 21 learners. That is our answer, all right? It's important that you also go through it so that we can compare our answer just in case I made a mistake. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe. We really appreciate your support.